Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And you can tell I've been mixing a little paint, but my hands are mostly clean, so this is my first go for the day. These are little tiny acetate swipe claw cards. And I was going to use the cut down containers from, I don't know, pens and lipstick and whatever else and, uh, and make scoops. But I think I'm just going to start in the simplest way possible by adding a gold center and continuing from there. Now, I've been having a little trouble the last few orbs, believe it or not, with finding absolute center, which so I can understand. So I'm just going to keep trying to correct myself until I get a puddle that seems like it's in the right place. And that's for me, that's by looking. For you, you might want to measure. I don't know. I used to be better at this, I think. In any case, so I'm going to swipe some of this gold right out over some other things. So this can be an extra large gold circle, but I would like it in the middle. And I am just sort of spreading that out some by rotating it, hypnotizing you, trying to find the best, most circular thing possible. And then I'm still going to add one more dribble. And after that, I guess, no, I can wait on the black enamel from folk art. I am going to, what am I going to do? Oh boy. I'm going to give myself some white Anita's metallic. Right around, am I? Maybe I'm not. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm not. Okay. So give me a second. That's a big plug. Wow. That's a really big plug. But at least if it plugs the paint paint bottles up, that means that um, the paint is not evaporating. So I'm going to do a little shortfall here. And then let those merge. That's probably... I probably shouldn't have done that just because I don't want the black with the white enamel and I want the, the gold. But I'm going to try it anyway because <laughs> it's too late to not do that uh, for a start. And I think I'm, I'm going to try really hard just to use colors that I identify with sun colors. Let's, um, let's use the 24 karat gold, which is the same as in the center that it has. This is the same exact thing with just a little bit of orange added to it. Now, I could have coated the outside of this with black paint, and I'm thinking that I still might want to. Well, I would if I could get it to come out. And by continuously squeezing until I can get whatever that thing is, come out. Yes, I got it. Cool. I win <laughs> this round. Probably not. Not most of them, though. Oh, come out. I'm going to use an OXO omelet turning spatula whenever I get a chance. This is going to at least give me some paint to my edges to swipe through or whatever I'm going to do through. I might even wind up with a basting brush in this. You can't tell. I really did think I was going to be scooping paint onto this. And I don't mind letting some of that go right over the edge. And fold down the sides. I'm using cottage cheese lids instead of push pins or cups or anything else. I don't really think that this has to be perfect. I'd like to tell you that I can get that I can be okay with that. <laughs> that this there's no guarantee that's the truth. Because no matter what I say, I'm still pretty um, pretty OCD about a few things. Not necessarily the dust lines behind the door. <laughs> They're made of dog hair, but. <laughs> But uh, some, some other things. I don't know what. Like having to do the dishes every morning, even if I don't want to. I don't know. TMI. Sorry. Oops. So this is the OXO omelet turning spatula, like I told you. Best paint spreading tool around. And you can find it if you look on my Amazon list. And the link for that list is the first blue link under show more under the video. And there's all kinds of cool stuff there that I like. Stuff that I've used. Stuff that I haven't used also. 
So you can, you're welcome to look for a review. I have not been diligent about getting all the reviews on all of the items there. So use your good common sense and uh, check a Google review if you haven't seen me use something or mention something. All right, I've talked long enough, haven't I? Well, I say that, and then, I'm <laughs> and then I've got that paint on my spatula that wants to go over the edge, and I know that I'm not going to be um, tipping anything. And I like the idea of having that black to the outside edge. And it's and it's hot today, but the sun is not out. It's sort of cloudy, which means that I still got a pretty good shot at not having things not dry too awful fast. All right, I'm going to throw that in the bucket. That way I can't, I can't, uh, yeah, I can still use my finger. <laughs> okay, so I run my fingers down the edge just because I can. That's the name of my first book on the Amazon link. And my second one is called Unlimited Possibilities. And I do believe the possibilities with fluid acrylic art, poured art, are pretty unlimited. All right, so now I just found this beautiful red color in a larger bottle that had enough plastic, enough color in the plastic so it didn't make it as attractive and it wasn't getting used. So it's time to use it. And I've just put some, uh, some golden fine iridescent pearl into it. So it should be nice and shimmery. And I really think no matter what I do, if I just keep adding colors I like, assuming that I can get the things that are coming out to not come out too thoroughly, this, uh, this orange has a cut open tip. So I have to be a little careful. It looks like maybe today it's a little bit blocked. I'm going to rotate this just once to see if I can get my... Now I'm not trying to put that color immediately right on the other one, and you can see for the most part, that it spreads right out. And I'm really tempted to put something obnoxious in there, like um, a little of this purple. Maybe lighter purple. <laughs> Maybe no purple. Well, I'll make up my mind in a minute. Do I want some more gold? I kind of do want some more gold. But you know what? I've got a bigger bottle, because I'm running out of bottle, running out of gold in the squeeze bottle. Going a little slow, trying to get it right. Probably doesn't make any difference. I'm sure it will look interesting no matter what, because it's going to be a swipe, you see. All right, now I have to still. This is a, yeah, that can go away. It's not going to make any difference either. Just make sure that's on. I had an accident the other day. My bottle top was not on. This is, I believe, well, I did think it was a color shift orange from Folk Art, but I'm not certain right now. That green tape around that bottle is supposed to mean something. But when I don't use them for a long time, I kind of forget. I should really label stuff. I recommend labeling things. All right, so I did it. I brought the purple into the equation. Of course, I had to leave a bottle in the way so that if I was rotating my turntable, I couldn't completely get it all the way around. But so far, so good. I've never done exactly this, and I'm looking forward to trying it for sure. I'm going to also, quick before I get to that black, because yellow and black will often make green. I know it doesn't sound right, but black is always made up of blue or red. There's got to be a base color underneath black, because black is actually made of all colors. But there has to be one dominant. And it is usually red or blue or green. Mostly red or blue. So what do I want in there last? I really love this. Yeah. Seems to me I should listen to myself if I tell myself that I love something. So I don't know how you guys are doing, but I'm hanging in there. And I'm really glad I can uh, keep you guys entertained somewhat. Oh, that's really dark. That is darker than I expected it to be. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and lighten it up a little. Can't wait to see what happens with this. 
It's like the last one, I'll just wind up swiping it in all different directions and saying to heck with it. There's probably a lot more paint than I need there. Chances are good. It's much nicer when I can use the shovel and pull things out. So here goes my black enamel. And I'm going to try and use my little card that's sort of the in-between card first. And I'm going to grab a little dish and I'm going to scrape off my card as I go. Because as long as there's a lot of paint, and I should show you that, there is a lot of paint. I'm also going to wish that I had gone around in a curve. So should I do that now? I should try and start that now. before it's too late so that I leave something in between like the keyhole like the uh, shovel check swipe keyholes I may have to go in where the color is not adhered to the canvas and uh, use a skewer This might turn out pretty cool. I'm hoping. It's sort of a, a reverse effect. Makes me want to go back the other way so I can meet the... meet what I've started coming in the other direction. That puddle of paint's going to be pretty neat. I might as well just go grab an 8x10 canvas now. Maybe I'll use it to cover, to do a do-over. This is pretty cool. I'm not catching up with myself, though. So this is a son whose hair is parted. <laughs> Okay. I'm trying to split the difference. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Fake it. Now, the question is, should I do anything else? And the answer is, usually I am compelled to do something else. And that would be to lie something right down in the middle. and ever so gently pull a skewer through. I'm also going to wipe that off right now. And while I'm here, just sort of flick ever so slightly the paint that's not fully covering. But I'm going to wait until after I add the skewer. I'll just hold that right in my hand so I can wipe it off. These little sponges from watercolor boxes that I got at Michael's a long time ago, I think I left it in the box so long it, it sort of decomposed a little bit, but um, nowadays they're, they're very handy for pouring. They, they cover a shovel full of paint while I have to go in the house and unload a movie very nicely. So that's not right for sure, but this was a cool experiment other than that. What can I say? Maybe when I get around there something will occur to me. And I can pull some kind of miracle out of some dark place. You know what I mean. <laughs> I wish I hadn't done that first one straight. I'm really not that inclined to ruin this. Ruin it by, like, giving up on it and doing something else. I wonder if I can put some black down there. And I don't think it has to be... Just a sort of a trompe l'oeil moment. If the paint would come out without being clogged. There, I got it. I heard it let go. So, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Let's blow that around with a straw a little. It's a little better than it was, so I'm going to... I'm going to say that that's 
that's a lesson well learned about this doing this. But this was my first try, so experiments often go sideways. Well, maybe not often, but I get to decide if I like that white around the center or if I want to do something else. If I want to try and suck up that one little place that's white or meld it in place. So what else do I want to do? I could definitely, since I've already screwed it up <laughs> and it's still cool, I could still put the basting brush in there. I'm going to take one of these saucers and put it on top of this and put it aside. And usually when I come back later, they're pretty safe. So that's all kind of cool, but I want to put the basting brush in there. What the heck? All right, I still need to have one of those in my hand. Oh boy. That's not hurting it yet. And I'm wiping it off in between. Fun and funky. And that may actually be the trick that I needed to camouflage things. Although I'm not liking that white in the center as much as I was hoping I would. Often I like some negative space. Ooh, that was a big pile of paint. All right, that's a whole lot better than it was. And uh, I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do some of my artwork. I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida as soon as this disaster, debacle, whatever you want to describe the, um, the coronavirus as. Why do I want to do that? I don't. Do I want to do that? No. <laughs> I want to do something though. I really, really, really do. Let's make sure that's on. two drops accidentally on the first one. Alright, now that that helicopter's gone over, I'm going to grab my skewer and try and remember to tell you guys I have Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for people who want to see what I've edited so far from the YouTube videos in the albums there. I'm just spiraling that around. That white actually works out pretty nicely now. I'm starting in the gold and the black so it all comes becomes kind of mixed up. Creates little spirals. So that's kind of cool. It's a little cute. It's fairly centralized <laughs> somewhat. I could actually take... Ooh, could I? Could I take some paint and fill in that other spot? Do I really want to do that? No, I don't. I'm going to cheat a little. I think that'll work. Right there. All right, so this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. And thank goodness the sun still hasn't come out, and that's wonderful. I'm not dying of heat. I have a crib sheet, and... If you guys want to help me out, watch the videos longer. Shop my Teespring link underneath the video for all over print leggings and t-shirts. Check out my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more. It's where I've been posting. You can get the Shop Now button. will take you to my Fine Art America and Pixels.com where I've been posting since 2013. Looks like it's shooting off rockets or something. It looks like some kind of fireworks. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you're not getting notifications, you might want to check those. On the end screen, you're going to find an exhibition video in the last 20 seconds of every video, and it will show you what this month's drawing is offering. There are five paintings to choose from, from who, by whoever wins. And uh, if for a $10 donation through PayPal or Patreon, which you can find those links underneath the video, and also on my channel header, Speaking of my channel, look for Creative Playlists. There are 1,310 videos, and they are organized by the hundred and also by the genre. And genres like uh, orbs and spirals and other things. I think I faked that out pretty well. I mean, if I didn't tell you, you might not notice it at first that I've got a, got a spare. But um, I'm going to torch and release the bubbles in the paint. I'm going to tell you guys what... Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for the comments. I appreciate all of the contributions that have helped keep me painting. 
check my channel community board for tomorrow's video.